Today I visited Stoke Mandeville Hospital and the maternity unit to donate £1,000 to the Ducklands Trust. Um, I had the most amazing time meeting with staff and seeing how my donation would be spent. Hello, I'm Heidi, consultant midwife at Buckinghamshire Healthcare Trust. The Ducklands Trust is one of our charitable arms that supports the maternity services um, and it enables us to buy extra equipment for our mums and babies that are coming through maternity in addition to those that are ordinarily resourced by the NHS. So the typical um, piece of equipment that we might use Ducklin's money for are those that are really going to enhance the experience for women. Um, so perhaps more the, the luxuries rather than the necessities, but we think that's really important in order to get the best experience that we can for women, Tracy. Um, so what we're hoping to use your money for today is um, something called telemetry. Um, and what this is, is is wireless monitoring of the baby's heart rate while the mum's in labour. And usually um, women who have a high-risk pregnancy are, are, are somewhat restricted because they have to have their abdomen strapped and babies being listened to all the time. And women have fed back to us that they feel they feel quite restricted in labour. So to try and increase their chance of a more normal birth, telemetry helps us monitor them without them being wired to a machine and women can then go into the birthing pool, they can move around freely in labour, but we can still monitor their baby really, really closely. Um, so for those women that, um, that that's a necessity, it gives us the opportunity to keep them as normal as possible. We have a very um, large population of women that we care for here, and a, a certain degree of those will have high-risk pregnancies, so equipment like this helps us make it a much better experience and less medical for them really. We provide maternity care for the whole, all of Buckinghamshire and we've got our two sites. We have our standalone birth centre over at Wickham which really is a flagship for normal midwifery in the area. We're really lucky actually to have one um, and it's been a, a national recommendation that women should have the choice of a standalone birth centre. Um, not all organisations have one so we're very very proud to have have ours and we really encourage our loneliness mums to go there. Um, and then we have our co-located birth centre here over at Stoke Mandeville and our main labour ward and we also offer home births here as well. So women coming here will get four choices of where they can have their baby, providing that their pregnancy is straightforward. And this equipment that I'm talking about helps us enable those women who perhaps can't choose to have a baby at home or in a midwife led unit have that more low risk approach to their, to their care. We have about five and a half thousand babies born a year here. So it's very busy um, midwives, a fantastic team of midwives that work really, really hard to care for all the women that come in. And of course we give those women their antenatal care and their follow up care of the baby afterwards. Thankfully, this new piece of equipment actually captures the same information that's required to monitor a baby, but gives a pregnant lady the freedom to walk around, to go to the toilet, um, to sit in the birthing pool and actually relax, to say, I'm not trapped in this tiny room in a bed, I can walk to the car park, I can, you know, I can walk around, I can relax and I can, you know, feel a little bit more human. It's that kind of homely touch that is lost sometimes in hospitals when you're surrounded by big beeping machinery and everything is so clinical and scary. Um, it, it kind of gives you the comfort to, to feel freedom, to monitor the baby safely and to allow you to do what makes you comfortable in labour rather than being pinned to one position. So I hope that this piece of new equipment will help many, many women that visit Stoke Mandeville Hospital um, and have their babies and I hope that it will also inspire you to do something great for a unit, a hospital or a charity that's close to your hearts. Uh, my children are now eight and three, and I had them both at Stoke Mandeville, and I like to think that this is my way to say thank you for the, the time, care, and love that I was shown when I was there.